if u is a fixed vector in Rn. The set of all vectors in Rn that are orthogonal to u is a, is a subspace of Rn. Okay, so how about we do this? Let Let S equal to V1, V2, up to V sub K, such, such that uh, V sub I dot U is 0, I equals 1, 2, K. The set of all those vectors, well, a a actually, It's just the set of V sub I's in Rn such that when you dot it with U, you get zero. Now, I want to show that this set, let's give it a name, let S equal that. I want to show that S is the subspace of Rn. Okay, all right, so we have to show that it's closed. Let VI and VJ be an S. So U dot VI equals zero and U dot V sub J equals zero. More importantly, U dot the sum is zero. U dot V sub I plus V sub J. How about we say somewhere I is not J. This is equal to U dot V sub I plus U dot V sub J. Like I said, that's zero and that's zero. And zero plus zero is zero. Okay, so we have closure. Closure under addition. Okay, so now what if you have u dot k times vi? Well, dot product says we can put pull the scalar in front. And I guess over here, I should say let V, I, and V, J be an S, and K is a scalar. So this becomes K dot, sorry, K times U dot V sub I. K times U dot V sub I is zero. So we got zero. Okay, so now we have closure under the dot product. Okay, so we conclude, conclude that S is a subspace for R sub n. Very quick proof. If you like quick proofs, don't watch my last one for the gram Smith process. But seriously, if you like seeing mathematical proofs in different fields of mathematics, subscribe to my channel. Tell your family and friends about it. Leave a comment. Let me know how much you hate my videos. And if somehow you like my videos, you can let me know that as well. If you want to see me prove a video, ask it in the comments. See you guys in the next video. Remember, watch and learn.